so controlling the climate, it, it's incredibly important to any grow operation. Um, normally we have target ranges of humidity they'll reach into you know, above 60% up to 75 plus, uh, depending on the growth stage. Um, so we have indoor and greenhouse climates, the, the need to add humidity to the environment. Um, they may be in a hot climate, for example, um, or maybe dealing with a condition dry air supply. So if, if humidity drops too far, the plants will close their stomata and it, that slows photosynthesis. And uh, this could lead to stress and slower growth rates, uh, compromise yields. Now, if, uh, on the other hand, if, uh, if an environment's oversaturated, there's a higher risk of fungal, bacterial, and, and viral infection. Cool fog, you know, by nature, we, we add humidity to an environment by delivering pure water fog. And what I mean by that, it's um, we atomize water uh, using specialized nozzles at high pressure. Um, and this fog, it's made up of, of billions of really small uh, micron sized particles. And those are perfectly sized for evaporation. So as the, the air is absorbing the moisture, uh, humidity levels will rise and, and temperatures will fall. Um, so so it, those, those concepts go hand in hand. Um, and, and when we talk about balanced humidity, um, what, what we mean is that we don't, we don't push um, humidity into a room from one direction. Um, we will we'll place nozzles uh, these nozzles, uh, atomized nozzles, strategically throughout a location so that humidity is added everywhere at once. And uh, we, we can do that in, in a very large or, or small environment. So that, that provides that kind of balanced approach. A byproduct of the system, it, it really is a delivery system. So we're, you know, since we're delivering fog into an environment, there's other applications that you can use the system for. Um, one is for odor control, and uh, what we do there is we inject a, 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 an odor neutralizer into the system, and we deliver it through fog. Um, so it's uh, usually best placed, uh, for example, on the outside or exhaust side of a facility or greenhouse, uh, where the odor is escaping, being pushed out. Um, and, and this uh, kind of chemical injection into our system allows the... Um, allows the neutralizer to actually alter and, and neutralize the odor's components. So it's not just uh, masking like a, a, a kind of a perfumer type of application. That same delivery is also used for, for uh, pest control. Um, and, and the real advantage to this is that fog uh, with that, you know, the, the billions of these micron sized particles floating around in an environment, um, you can actually add, um, you know, uh, chemical agents to it, uh, IPM agents, or, or even nutrients into a system. And it allows that fog to kind of drift into an environment and it reaches the furthest uh, nooks and crannies. It's not a one size fits all approach. So there, there's a lot of landmines that you can experience, uh, you know, um, implementing a high pressure fog system in, in a grow operation. And, um, you know, since we're essentially delivering water into a space, even though the fog is is dry, um, you wouldn't want to position nozzles so they're directly spraying onto a light fixture or a structural element or something like that, or it will collect and drip. Um, so what Cool Fog does, we'll look for, we'll help our clients uh, for for their unique environment, and we'll we'll look for unobstructed pathways. Um, we, we'll evaluate airflow in a facility. Um, we'll look at um, things like are there are there fans, uh, for example, to um, distribute the, the treated air. So, so long story short, there, there's a design process that's almost as important as the technology itself. Um, so uh, we, we handhold our clients. We, we take pride in doing that so that we can understand a facility, understand the, the desired outcomes, and make sure that we don't have unintended consequences along the way.